In the previous video, we learned that how to use the long wall and short wall method of estimation to find the various quantities of the building. In this video, we will learn that how to use the center line method to find the different quantities of the building. Usually, center line method is applied to the external walls, and long wall short wall method is used for the internal walls. Center line method, this is much more quicker than the long wall and short wall method but it needs special consideration at junctions which we will learn in this problem hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering and in this video you will learn that how to estimate the quantities of a two room building uh, from its given plan and section using the center line method okay so i have been given the question which states that we have to estimate the quantities of this two room building from the given plan and section the quantities are we have to estimate Earthwork in excavation, raft in foundation, plinth in PCC, 2 cm thick damp proof course and uh, first class brickwork in superstructure. You can see the plan of the storeroom building. Okay, so in uh, for this building, the walls are of uniform thickness that is 30 cm. The size of doors and windows are given in the plan. And we also have lintels over doors and windows which are 15 cm thick. Also, you can see the cross section of wall on this section AA for this building okay so first uh, we will do that we will find the total center length of this building so for this building total center length this will be equal to times the center length of the long walls long walls are the walls which are uh, taken along the longer dimension of the building so in this case this is the longer dimension of the building so for this building we have two long walls that is this one and this one and uh, short walls these are the walls which are along the shorter dimension of the building so in this case we have three short walls that is this one this one and this one total center length this is equal two times the center length of the long walls plus three times the center length of the short walls okay so center length of the long walls this is equal to from this point you have to start that is from center point of this wall to center point of this wall so first it will be 0 0.3 divided by 2 then this plus 4 meter plus 0 0.3 plus 6 meter plus 0 0.3 divided by 2 and length of the short walls this is a zero point from this point that is from the center point uh, center point of this to center point of this so it will be 0 0.3 divided by 2 plus this 6 meter plus 0 0.3 divided by 2 so the total center length of all walls will be equal to 40.10 meter after finding the center length of the uh, all walls we can now estimate the uh, quantities uh, for this building we will do all the calculations in excel so let's move to excel to find the various quantities in Excel, uh, you will made a table having the eight columns. The first one is the item number. Second one is the particulars of the item, then number, then length, breadth, height. These uh, three should be in meters, quantity, and then explanatory note or remarks. Okay, so the first item which we have to find is earthwork in excavation. In center line method, we have to remember that for each junction, you will have to deduct half breadth of the respective item from the total center length. Okay, so what does it mean? So for earthwork in excavation, first from the given plan, I can see that this two room building have two junctions. That is one at this point and one at this point. Corners are excluded, only the junction of the internal walls with the main walls. So we have two junctions, one at this point and one at this point. So to find the earthwork in excavation, you have to deduct from the total center length half breadth, uh, uh, half breadth of the excavation for each junction. So we have two junctions. So from total center length, we will deduct two times half breadth of the each excavation. So total center length, which we found out was 40.1 minus 2 into since the breadth uh, of the excavation this is also the breadth of the raft which is 1.1 meter if you can see in this figure so uh, we have to subtract from 40.1 that is 2 times 1.1 divided by 2 which is 39 meters this is the length which you will 
take for the earthwork in excavation so right for earthwork in excavation total length has 39 meters since number this is one because we are taking the total center length of the wall so number is one okay after that the breadth this is 1.1 height or depth of excavation so this is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.3 which is 0 0.7 meters so right height as 0 0.7 meter after that multiply these three and you will get the total quantity so total quantity is 39 multiplied by 1.1 multiplied by 0 0.7 okay so this is 30. 303 cubic meters this is the uh, total earthwork in excavation similarly raft in foundation this also have the total length as 39 meter because uh, breadth for the raft and the earthwork excavation is same so central length will be same that is 39 meters so for earth raft in foundation right length as 39 meters breadth is 1.1 meter and height height of the raft we can see in this figure this is 0 0.3 so right 0 0.3 multiply these three and we will get the quantity of concrete for raft in foundation that is 39 times 1.1 times 0 0.3 okay so this is 12.87 uh, cubic meters uh, this is the raft in foundation which is uh, of mix uh, 1 is to 1.5 is to 3 after that you will find the plinth in pcc so we can see our plinth this is two step plinth first one has a width of 0 0.6 meter and its height is 0 0.2 meter then second step this is below ground its width is 0 0.4 meter and height is 0 0.2 meter and above ground its uh, width is again 0 0.4 meter and height is 0 0.6 meter so that's why i have written first the plinth for underground in first step then second step and then above ground this is for the uh, for above ground this is for the second step okay not for long walls this is for the second step so for first step the length so from the total center length you have to deduct the uh, two times the uh, you have to deduct the uh, two times the half breadth of the uh, first step so for first step the breadth is 0 0.6 so from 40.1 which is the total center length you will deduct two times 0 0.6 divided by 2 okay because we have two junctions okay and half breadth of each junction is 0 0.6 divided by 2 so for two junctions it will be 2 into 0 0.6 divided by 2 so from this we get the total length for the underground first step as 39.5 so write 39.5 multiply it with the width which is 0 0.6 and the height which is 0 0.2 okay so to multiply write equal then select the first column multiply it with the second column and then multiply it with the third column and press enter and you will get the quantity which is 4.74 cubic meters similarly for the second step that is deduct from total center length two times the half breadth of the second step which is 0 0.4 so 40.1 minus 2 times 0 0.4 divided by 2 which is 39.7 okay so right total length has 39.7 the width for this is 0 0.4 and height is 0 0.2 okay so multiply these three you can simply select this row and then drag it and excel will automatically calculate for you and the total quantity for the second step underground is 3.176 cubic meters for above ground second step the total length is same okay because width is same so it will be 39.7 so write 39.7 width is 0 0.4 okay and height for above ground is 0 0.6 meters okay so this from this ground level to this point this is 0 0.6 multiply these three 
that is 39.7 multiply 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.6 and you will get the quantity of concrete for plinth in pcc or second step above ground total quantity that is total cubic meters of plinth in pcc this is the sum of these three items that is 4.74 plus 3.176 plus 9.528 so this is 17.44 cubic meters this is the total quantity of plinth and pcc for damp proof course okay so total center length this will be again same because we are using the dpc or this full plane that is or this full width 0 0.4 meters so its length will be same that is 40.1 minus 2 into 0 0.4 divided by 2 which is 39.7 okay so this will be 39.7 this is the uh, damp proof course okay and width for this is 0 0.4 so multiply it 0 0.4 width height okay this is already mentioned that this is of two centimeter thick so you don't have to multiply the height okay you will get the quantity in the square meter so multiply 39.7 into 0 0.4 so this is 15.88 from this you have to deduct the quantity which is at the door cells because at the door cells you will not lay damp proof course we have to deduct for this plan we can see we have two doors that is one at this point and one at this point the size of door is that its width is 1.2 meter and height is 2.1 meter so you have to deduct this quantity so number for doors is 2 width is 1.2 okay and this breadth this will be the breadth of the plane so 0 0.4 okay so multiply these two that is 2 into 1.2 into 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.96 this is the deduction total deduction for the door cells okay so deduct it from 15.88 that is right equal then select 15.88 subtract from it 0 0.96 press enter and you will get the quantity of damp proof course which is 14.92 square meters okay damp proof course this is calculated in square meters similarly the fifth item this is the first class uh, brickwork for this the total uh, length will be that is from center length you will deduct two times the half uh, the breadth of the wall which is 30 centimeters so you will deduct that is 40.1 minus 2 into 0 0.3 divided by 2 which is 39.8 okay so uh, this is the total length so write total length as 39.8 okay width of the brickwork this is 0 0.3 okay and height this you can see from the cross section this is 3 meters up to the top of the slab okay from dpc so write 3 okay multiply these three that is 39.8 multiply it with 0 0.3 and multiply it with 3 and you will get the quantity of the brickwork which is 35.82 but from this brickwork you have to deduct the door openings window openings lintel over doors and lintel or windows we can see doors there are two doors the width of the door is 1.2 okay and it will be laid over the width of the wall which is 0 0.3 so write 0 0.3 and height this is 2.1 so write 2.1 for height multiply these four that is 2 into 1.2 into 0 0.3 into 2.1 okay so this is 1.512 similarly for window openings we have four windows that is one two three and four the size of window is one into 1.5 meter so write number four then width this is one meter and it is laid along the width of the, the wall that is 0 0.3 and the height for this is 1.5 
multiply these four that is four into one into 0 0.3 into 1.5 okay so simply select the first one and drag it and excel will automatically calculate so this is 1.8 cubic meters for window openings similarly lintel or doors okay so lintels this can have a bearing of 15 centimeter we are taking bearing of 15 centimeter so the length of the lintel this will be for doors the total width is 1.2 so add two bearings okay one on the left side and one on the right side so it will be 1.2 plus 2 times 0 0.15 which is 1.5 meters this will be the length for this lintel okay width this will be same 0 0.3 okay and height of lintel this is given as 15 centimeter thick so write 0 0.15 okay there are two doors so there will be two lintels or doors okay so that's why i have used the number two for the lintel or doors okay multiply these four and you will get the quantity for lintel or doors similarly we have four windows so number will be four again there will be bearing of 15 centimeters so add to the width of the window 2 times 0 0.15 so this will be 1.3 okay and it is laid along the width of the wall which is 30 centimeter and again its height or depth this is 15 centimeter or 0 0.15 meters multiply these four and you will get the uh, deduction for lentil or video, uh, windows which is 0 0.234 cubic meters total deduction this will be the sum of these so write equal then write sum write the bracket and select these four then close the bracket and press enter so this is the total deduction this total deduction in cubic meters we have to deduct from the uh, total brickwork okay so write equal select the total brickwork which is 35.82 subtract from it 3.681 so this is the total uh, first class brick work in cubic meters that is 32.139 cubic meters okay so this is how you can apply the center line method to find the various quantities of the building i hope this solution video was clear to you and you definitely learned something new if you find my videos helpful you can support my channel that is by simply subscribing it and liking this video okay thanks for watching master civil engineering and i will see you in the next video